offers immense attraction for domestic as well as foreign tourists. There is a large potential to be tapped in tourism. The sector holds huge opportunities for jobs and entrepreneurship for youth in particular. Promotion of tourism will be taken up on mission mode with active participation of states, convergence of government programs, and public-private partnerships. Green growth. We are implementing many programs for green fuel, green energy, green farming, green mobility, green buildings, and green equipment, and policies for efficient use of energy across various economic sectors. These green growth efforts help in reducing carbon intensity of the economy and provides for large-scale green job opportunities. Priorities of this budget. The budget adopts the following seven priorities. They, comp they complement each other and act as the Sapta Rishi guiding us through the Amrit Kal. Inclusive development, reaching the last mile, infrastructure and investment, unleashing the potential, green growth, youth power, and financial sector. I now speak on the priority number one, inclusive development. The government's philosophy of Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas has facilitated inclusive development covering in specific farmers, women, youth, OBCs, scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, divyangjan, and economically weaker sections, and overall priority for the underprivileged, vanchitongko variyata. There has also been a sustained focus on Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, and the Northeast. This budget builds on those efforts. Digital public infrastructure for agriculture. Digital public infrastructure for agriculture will be built as an open source, open standard, and interoperable public good. This will enable inclusive farmer-centric solutions through relevant information services for crop planning and health, improved access to farm inputs, credit and insurance, help for crop estimation, market intelligence, and support for growth of agri-tech industry and startups. An, agricultural, an agriculture accelerator fund an agriculture accelerator fund will be set up to encourage agri-startups by young entrepreneurs in rural areas. The fund will aim at bringing innovative and affordable solutions for challenges faced by farmers. It will also bring in modern technologies to transform agricultural practices, increase productivity and profitability. To enhance the productivity of extra long staple cotton, we will adopt a cluster-based and value chain approach through public-private partnerships. This will mean collaboration between farmers, state, and industry for input supplies, extension services, and market linkages. We will launch an Atmanirbar clean plant program to boost availability of disease-free quality planting material for high-value horticultural crops at an outlay of 2,200 crores. Global hub for millets, millets which are Sri Anna. India as the forefront India is at the forefront of popularizing millets, whose consumption further nutri furthers nutrition, food security, and welfare of farmers, said the Honorable Prime Minister. We are the largest producer and second largest exporter of Sri Anna in the world. 
we grow several types of Sri Anna, such as Sri Anna Jowar, Sri Anna Ragi, Sri Anna Bajra, Sri Anna Kutu, Ramdana, Kangani, Kutni, Kutki, Kodo, China, and Sama. These have a number of health benefits and have been an integral part of our food for centuries. I acknowledge with pride the huge service done by small farmers in contributing to the health of fellow citizens by growing these Sri Anna. Now to make India a global hub for Sri Anna, the Indian Institute of Millet Research, ideally Indian Institute of the Sri Anna Research, Hyderabad will be supported as the center of excellence for sharing best practices, research and technologies at the international level. The agricultural credit target will be increased to 20 lakh crores with focus on animal husbandry, dairy and fisheries. We will launch a new sub-scheme for of PM Matsya Sampada Yojana, which is an existing scheme, but we launch a new sub-scheme with targeted investment of 6,000 crores to further enable activities of fishermen, fish vendors, and micro and small entrepreneurs, improve value chain efficiencies, and expand the market. For farmers, especially small and marginal farmers, and other marginalized sections. The government is promoting cooperative-based economic development model. A new Ministry of Cooperation was formed with a mandate to realize the vision of Sahekar Se Samriddhi. To realize this vision, the government has already initiated compu computerization of 63,000 primary agricultural credit societies with an investment of 2,560 crores, 2,516 crores. In consultation with all the stakeholders and the states, model bylaws for PACS were formulated, enabling them to become multi-purpose PACS. A national cooperative database is being prepared for countrywide mapping of cooperative societies. With this backdrop, we will implement a plan to set up massive decentralized storage capacity. This will help farmers store their produce and realize remunerative prices through sale at appropriate times. The government will also facilitate setting up of a large number of multi-purpose cooperative societies, primary fishery societies, and dairy cooperative societies in uncovered panchayat and villages in the next five years. <laughs> Health, education, and skilling. 157 new nursing colleges will be established in co-location. <laughs> 